dear students welcome to the online learning today we will learn about chapter number 3 that is playing with numbers today's topic will be factors multiples prime number and composite numbers so let's begin with our today's topic all this term one by one we will discuss so first of all let's understand what is factor so here factor of a number is defined as a number that evenly divides given number and does not leave any remainder now let's understand this term factor more properly by taking a number 12 so here let's find all its factor so children first of all we will find all the possible pairs of number which can give the product equals to 12 so here when we multiply 1 with 12 we get 12 as well as when we multiply this 2 with 6 we get 12 or when this 3 is multiplied with 4 we get 12 So all these numbers are the exact divisor of this number twelve. So the factors of twelve are one, two, three, four, six, and twelve. Because factors are also called as divisor of a number. Now let's take another number as fifteen. So the factor for this number fifteen are one, three, five. Five and fifteen. So why we have got this numbers? Let's understand that. So here, when we multiply one with fifteen, we get fifteen. As well as when we multiply three with five, we get fifteen. Or when this five is multiplied with three, we get fifteen. Else, when this fifteen is multiplied with one, that case also we obtain fifteen. So The factors for fifteen are one, three, five, and fifteen. But keep notice that the repeated number we will consider only once. Now let's say another number as twenty-four. For this number twenty-four, the factors will be listed as in the following way. So you can understand that when we multiply one with twenty-four, we get Twenty-four, as well as two goes into twenty-four twelve times, or three goes into twenty-four eight times, and four goes into twenty-four six times. So here you can see that the factors for twenty-four are one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. now let's understand how any number can be expressed in many ways as a product of two numbers so let's say that number as 6 for this number 6 we will understand how it can be expressed as a product of two number in many way so when we multiply 1 with 6 we get 6 or when we multiply 2 with 3 we get 6 as well as when 3 is multiplied with 2 gives us 6 Or when six is multiplied with one, we get six. So here, this number one, two, three, and six are the exact divisor of six. Means these are the factors of number six. Now let's find the factors of eighteen. So children, we know that one goes into eighteen eighteen times, two goes into eighteen nine times. Whereas three goes into eighteen six times. So all the factors of eighteen are one, two, three, six, nine, and eighteen. Now let's say another number as thirty-six. So for this number thirty-six, its factor will be listed as when we multiply one with thirty-six, we get thirty-six. As well as this two goes into thirty-six eighteen times and. Three goes into thirty-six twelve times, whereas four goes into thirty-six nine times, and six goes into thirty-six six times. Means the factors of thirty-six are one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, and thirty-six. Now let's recap the thing related to topic factors. So children always remember that. A factor of a number refers to all the number which divide the number completely, and they are the exact divisor of that number. For example, we can see that the factors of six are one, two, three, and six. 
now following points for factor we need to remember so here every factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number this is the first property of a factor then comes a given number has finite number of factors and every factor of a number is less than or equals to given number then we can see that every number has at least two factor that means one and the number itself hence we can say that one is a factor of every number and every number is a factor of itself now let's come to the next topic that is multiple so here a multiple of a number is defined as the product obtained when the given number is multiplied by the same or by any other number so children you can see on the screen that we have some multiples of 2 written on the screen so when we multiply 2 with 1 we get 2 as well as when we multiply 2 with 2 we get 4 or when we multiply 2 with 4 we get 8 and when 2 is multiplied with 5 we get 10 as well as 2 multiplied with 10 gives us 20 in the same manner some multiples of 3 and 5 are present on the screen that you can go through it now let's have a quick recap regarding the topic multiples so children multiples of a number is defined as the number that is obtained by multiplying the given number by some other number now let's have a quick recap regarding the properties of multiple so here every number is a multiple of itself as well as every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number therefore a given number has infinite number of multiples now let's come to the exercise question given in textbook page number 50 so here the first question from exercise 3.1 we need to write all the factors of the following given numbers so the first number is 24 whereas the second number is 15 so one by one as we have learned we will find its factor so children we will find all the possible pairs of number which give as the product equals to 24 so while finding so we have obtained all the factors of 24 that are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 12 and 24 but keep remember that the repeated number we have to consider only once same way we can find the factor for 15 also so the possible pairs of number which has given us product equals to 15 are shown on the screen thus the factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 now if i talk about the next numbers from the question number 1 so here we have the next number as 21 and 27 so for this two number we have to find its factor so when i talk about the factor of 21 this can be obtained when we multiply 1 with 21 as well as when we multiply 3 with 7 we get 21 or when 7 is multiplied with 3 we get 21 so here all the factors of 21 are 1 3 7 and 21 else when we talk about the another number 27 its factor will be obtained when we multiply 1 with 27 we get 27 or when 3 is multiplied with 9 we get 27 else 9 is multiplied with 3 gives us 27 so here all the factors of 27 are 1 3 9 and 27 in the same manner you can find the factor for other given numbers too now come to the next question here we need to write first five multiples of five so children we know that multiples of a number is the product obtained when the given number is multiplied by the same or by any other number but here as per our question we have to get its first five multiple so this given number 5 we will multiply from the counting number starting from 1 till 5 and the first five multiples of 5 we will obtain so the first five multiples are 
फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ना लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज प्राइम नंबर सो चिल्ड्रेन प्राइम नंबर आर दोज नंबर विच हैज ओनली टू फैक्टर्स ना दिस थिंग वी कैन कीप रिमेंबर बाई अ हैंड द फ्रॉम द वर्ड प्राइम इट सेल्फ द लेटर आई हिंट्स अस वन वेर आज मी फ्रॉम द वर्ड प्राइम रिप्रेजेंट्स इट सेल्फ सो वी कैन ईजिली कीप रिमेंबर दैट प्राइम नंबर्स आर दोज नंबर विच हैज ओनली टू फैक्टर दैट मीन्स नंबर वन एंड द नंबर इट सेल्फ ना इफ आई टॉक अबाउट प्राइम नंबर एंड वी हैव टेकन अ नंबर फाइव सो इट्स फैक्टर विल बी ऑप्टेन एज वी नो वेन वी एक्सप्रेस दिस नंबर फाइव एज अ पेयर ऑफ टू नंबर सो द प्रोडक्ट वी मस्ट गेट शुड बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव सो हियर वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई वन विथ फाइव वी गेट फाइव और एल्स वेन फाइव इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वन वी गेट फाइव सो यू कैन सी हियर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ फाइव आर वन एंड फाइव ओनली दैट मीन्स अ नंबर विच हैज टू फैक्टर दैट मीन्स वन एंड द नंबर इट सेल्फ दैट नंबर्स आर प्लेज अंडर अ ग्रुप ऑफ प्राइम नंबर्स or else when we talk about a number that has more than two factors suppose here i have taken a number 25 and when we obtain all the possible pairs of number which can give us 25 so here we can see that 1 multiplied with 25 gives us 25 and 5 multiplied with 5 also gives us 25 so the total number of factors we obtain for this given number 25 is equals to 1 5 and 25 that means they are more than two factors so this numbers are prime numbers so the number that has more than two factors are placed under the group of composite numbers now you can see here we have many more numbers that comes under the group of prime number which has factor as 1 and the number itself as well as if i talk about the composite number here some more numbers are shown on the screen which has more than two factors now let's understand this prime number with some more examples so children on the screen you can see some more numbers are present which are placed under the group of prime number that has only two factors and you can see we have some more example represented for this composite number which has more than two factors now let's have a quick recap regarding this topic prime numbers as well as composite numbers so children prime numbers are those number which has only two factors and this thing we can keep remember by your hand from the word prime itself i represents one whereas me from the word prime represents itself now if i talk about composite number composite numbers are the number which have more than two factors so you can see examples are present on the screen but keep remember that the number 1 is a special case and it has it has exceptional case means it is neither prime nor composite now here comes your home assignment that you need to solve question number 1 e f g h and i and from question number 2 you need to solve b and c along with this question number 1 and 2 you have to solve question number 3 and question number 4 also of exercise 3.1 given in textbook page number 50 and 51 so children i hope whatever we have discussed today that you have learned properly so complete your notebook along with your home assignment thank you